so. Yeah. She's, she's hilarious. <laughs> she's been with us. She's been with us for over a week now. Her owner got in a serious car accident and Shit. she's been in the hospital. She fucking had a collapsed lung, broken femur, broken bone part of her leg, just completely fucked over. Somebody T boned her. Oh no. Yeah, it was brutal. Okay, so this should be a pretty simple repair. So the repair that we're here to do, folks, is that this E string is touching the first fret because that's way too low, maybe, probably, possibly because of a previously thicker gauge of strings. So this should be a nice, easy repair. Or someone trying to get the action too low and then screwed it up. <laughs> yeah, maybe, either way. But this is a really simple repair. You don't need baking <laughs> soda or anything like that because the material, there's plenty of the material that the nut is already made of that you can just file down around it to get the very little bit that you need to make make up the... Where the fuck are my scissors? My kids keep coming in here and stealing my scissors. They've got... I've probably bought them 10 or 12 pairs of scissors. Every time, every time you go to the dollar store, it's like, oh, there's a package of three scissors for five bucks or three bucks. There's three for you and one for me. <laughs> you hide it. Oh, you, you've lost all your scissors all around the house. Like, when we move out of here, we're probably going to find about 30 pairs of scissors. But a million glue sticks. Oh, come on, you dirty slut. So, you just played this guitar. It sounds pretty decent, eh? I would say yes. Very bluesy. <clears throat> Lots of usable sounds. I would, I would, I would absolutely agree with that. Oh, for absolute. Get some of the stickiness off of that. Okay, so here comes the magic. And we'll just take this. round this over and make it more comfortable anyway. You're gonna use the sediments or? I'm just gonna use the sanding dust from yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Glue it in there. Good trick. I mean, worst case, you can always change it out, but I mean, this is perfect for a small, minor problem like that. Seems a lot harder than just cheap plastic. You acquire these tools over time, or you always hide them, or...? Oh yeah, over time. Uh. <clears throat> oh, sweet. It's cutting like a nut. Here we go. Fixed. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Look, it was just that simple. <laughs> Holy shit. I love when I love when stuff's that simple. I think it's good, man. Alright, thank you. I think it's muy bueno. Let's get oh, her tuned nice. up and, and 
then you can go home. That was the easiest guitar fix I think you've ever brought me. I think so. Other than changing, it's easier than changing strings, <laughs> especially on a uh, Bixby. <laughs> well, especially since these strings were just changed for you by the previous owner, who we know, yeah, who you and I both know, is a reputable guitar trader in the community of people who trade guitars here locally. That's totally a you guitar, though. Hey, <laughs> it's like your sort of style of guitar for sure. Yeah, I love this guitar. It's like the color is amazing. The, the Bixby even stays in tune, which is nice because sometimes you get the uh, How does the string feel? Good? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's good. That's not a tuned up right properly right now, but it wasn't ringing out before it was all muted and stuff. So it's good now. Okay, good. Let's go Sweet. test it out for the gears. Controls to us again. So you've got this is a master pickup selector. So you got bridge here, both together, and neck. And here, this engages the um, middle pickup. Okay, okay. And then you have master tone there. You've got master volume right or master there. volume there. Master tones over here. Master tone there. And then three individual volumes for each of the pickups. That's right. So you can get, you know, so you can dial them in any way you want. You can have a clean, uh, you know, pickup. And That's so versatile. It's very versatile. It's great. I for really like the, the cutouts too. Hey, yeah. that they're not the traditional F-holes, but more of a teardrop style. Yeah, I like these. They're pretty cool. And what model specifically is that? It's a newer model. It's a 2016. So here, let's just oh, let's right inside. Yeah. Gretsch G5622T. I can never follow their models, but it's so nice. I played it in my in my uh, Fender uh, amp, and it was fucking amazing. So it's gorgeous looking. I like it. It's in mint shape. Super flashy. Twenty sixteen, yeah. right? You said twenty sixteen, and he bought it four months ago. Stunning. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. Good score. Like... Now, I take, I, take, I take back the shit I gave you for trading a junior for it. Yeah, I did trade a nice US junior for it, but I tell you, I the take it back. The personality is fucking beautiful on this guitar. And I take it back, yeah. It's great. Absolutely. Yeah, good trade. That's fucking flashy as fuck looking. I love it. Love it. It sounds great. great. Shape. Could be yours today for Yeah, it could be yours! <laughs> for sale next week on Kadiji. Yep.